started out riding when, before I could walk, and I, you know, I've been doing it ever since. I think that, you know, that gives me a little bit of a something that not every jockey has. You know, I've just been doing this my whole life, and everything, most of the things come natural to me. One of my best mentors once said about me, um, the thing that everyone hates about me is what makes me so good. And that is, you know, the way that I carry myself and a lot of people think that I'm stuck up and, you know, quiet and, you know, grumpy or mad or upset all the time and I'm, I'm really just focused and it's, it's absolutely probably, you know, a big guard up and I have to be like that. I feel like I have to be as tough as all the guys. And I am. I mean, <laughs> I, I do this every day with them. I don't, you know, I don't let anybody mess with me. I don't take anybody's crap. And, you know, I have to be like that. And, I mean, I was born that way. I was always in male-dominated sports when I was younger. I've been, you know, dealing, I have an older brother that used to beat me up all the time. So, you know, I have to be like that. And it's it's actually gotten me really far. I'm the girl that, she does things better. She could warm up a horse exceptionally. And she's tough. I mean, people say that uh, she's strong and she's good on a closer, but she still has the talent to go to the front. And uh, she's one tough cookie, and that's why I think she'll make it. And I mean, she's a killer. You know, being female, it's still, you know, it still is a man's world. I mean, you still get that every day. I don't want to ride a girl. My, this owner doesn't want to ride a girl. You're not as strong. You're not as this. You're not as that. You're not as aggressive. And, um, you know, I, you know, you have to take that from owners and trainers all the time. It's not, probably not nearly what it used to be, but it's still out there. It's still, you know, a factor in the game. And it, the only thing you do is overcome it. I mean, the only way that I deal with that is to just try to beat those people that doubt me. The people that I looked up to were probably Steve Coffin and Julie Crone. Um, I didn't have much exposure to horse racing, but the one thing that I did have was this one video called The Jewels of the Triple Crown. And, you know, Julie wasn't in it, but, you know, I'd heard of her because she's, you know, the only female jockey I'd ever heard of. And, uh, but I was determined to be the, not only the youngest, but the first female to win the Triple Crown. And that was supposed to happen when I was 16. So, one goal, you know, that I haven't reached yet. But, um, you know, ever since that's, oh, I was like seven and I knew that I wanted to ride ever since then. Rosie to the rescue. Good luck. Again, and here's a late run out in the middle of the track from Cherokee Trek. They come down for the line. Cherokee Trek won it from well off the pace. Longevity is probably one of the hardest things to achieve in this industry, and it, it's you got to work hard all the time. You have to have a work ethic. Luckily, I was kind of that was cemented into me at a young age and uh, you know it's something I value very much but um, you know I, I value my integrity in this game which is hard to find as well but I want to you know I want to be here on my terms I want to do this until I want to retire I want to have my peak of my career at the end of it there's a lot of things I still want to achieve and uh, I want to do that on my terms.